Welcome. So we'll start today, as we often do, in a seated position. So if you are not already in a seat that feels comfortable for you, go ahead and bring yourself into a seat. So you might be sitting on the floor, you might be sitting kind of cross-legged, maybe up on a cushion like I am. You could also certainly sit in another way that you feel more comfortable. And so just take a moment to land into your spot, whether this is where you always practice or whether it's where you're just practicing today. And then allow your eyes to close and begin to notice how you are feeling today. So there might be certain physical sensations that are present within your body. There might be things that you're aware of, thoughts on your mind, emotions on your mind. So just take a few moments here before we begin to move our bodies to really notice where are we starting from. All right, and then we'll join our palms together in front of the heart. Now, as you next inhale, reach your fingertips straight up toward the ceiling. And as you exhale, separate your arms, release them down toward the floor. All right, take another breath in, reach out and up. Join the hands above the head and then exhale, hands to the heart. Once more like that, as we inhale, reach straight up. Exhale out and down. And then inhale out and up. And exhale, hands to the heart. All right, interlace your fingers, press your palms forward and up. Start to reach up through one hand and up through the other side, left and right a few times. Connecting with your fingers, your palms, your arms, all the way down each side of your torso, down into your low back. All right, now let your hands separate and take them behind your back. Interlace the fingers there, and then just start to squeeze your shoulder blades together. So for some of us, it may be comfortable to straighten the arms. For others, you may wish to just keep your elbows bent and then just focus on moving the elbows toward each other. So feel free to try it out both ways and see which way gives you the biggest feeling of opening across your chest. All right, and then with the arms in this position, Start to turn your head from side to side. Easy rotation left and right. And then take your chin up toward the ceiling. And drop it down toward the chest. Once more lifting up. and dropping down. All right, as your head comes back to neutral, release the arms and just let your hands rest on your thighs. And then from here, let your right ear drop over towards your right shoulder. And so that you start to create a little bit of a stretch here on the left side of your neck. Let your head come a little bit forward. And back. Again, just a little bit forward and back. All right, now bring the head up to center and then drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Connecting now with the stretch on the right side of the neck and take the head a bit forward and back. Once more, a little bit forward. And back. All right, now easing your head up to center, we'll shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, move them back in space, and then drop down. Again, shoulders come up and back and down, and then once more up and back and down. All right, now come down onto your back. As 
you keep hugging your right knee into your chest, start to rotate through your ankle. Wiggle and scrunch the toes, move them around a bit in space. All right, keep your leg drawn in, release your arms down to the floor, and then start to rotate through your right hip. So your right knee draws a big circle in space. All right, and then change directions. The next time that your right knee comes into your chest, go ahead and catch it again. Pick your head up and bring your forehead toward your knee. Take a breath. And then as you release your head down to the floor, take your right knee over towards the floor on your left side. And just make sure that you roll all the way onto your left hip so that your hips are stacked. All right, and then just take your arms one on top of the other so that your right arm is on top of your left arm. Take a breath in here. And then as you exhale, take the right arm up and over towards the floor behind you. Again, inhale, bring your arms back together. Exhale and separate the arms. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. All right, now just pausing here in this twist, make it as comfortable as possible for you. So if you do have any props nearby, like a block or a blanket or something similar, you might place that underneath this right knee. You could also put it underneath your right arm if you need some support on the right. And just relax into the shape. What are you aware of in this moment? And now as you ease your right leg back to center, go ahead and release the right leg along the floor and just pause a moment. Let yourself drop into the earth fully. All right, now go ahead and re-straighten yourself out on the mat. Take your left knee into your chest, give it a gentle squeeze and rotate through your left ankle. Wiggle and scrunch the toes, move them around a bit. All right, keep your leg drawn in, arms released to the floor, start to rotate through your left hip. Your left knee draws a circle. All right, and then change directions. And then as you next bring your left knee into your chest, go ahead and catch it again. Pick your head up, bring your forehead towards your left knee, take a breath. And then release your head to the floor, take the left knee over towards the floor on the right. And again, make sure that you roll all the way onto your right hip so your hips are stacked one on top of the other. And then just as we did the twist before, stack your arms, the left arm on top of the right arm, Take a deep breath in, and then exhale as you sweep the left arm up and over towards the floor behind you. Twice more, inhale, bring your arms back together. And exhale as you twist. And then one more time, breathing in. And breathing out. And as you pause here in this twist, make sure that you are as comfortable as possible. So if there are props that you have nearby that you'd like to use to support your body, maybe under this left arm or under this left knee, feel free. And as you relax into this twist, check to see if you might even relax the muscles of your face. 
Relax your forehead. You can feel the natural weight of your eyes as well as your tongue. Right, as you release your next breath, guide the left leg back to center and just release your leg along the floor. Again, just pausing. Let the body land where it will. And then when you become ready, go ahead and turn over to one side and press yourself up and onto hands and knees. So as you come on to hands and knees, make sure that your knees are supported. If you're on a very hard surface, you might have two different mats. You might have a blanket underneath your knees. Just take care of your knees. So hands are shoulder distance, and then just take your knees about hip distance apart. All right, and then as you inhale, drop the belly, lift your head and your tail. As you exhale, tuck the tail, round the back, bring the chin toward the chest. And breathing in as the belly drops, head and tail lift. Breathing out as you tuck and round. All right, one more, breathing in. And breathing out. All right, bring your spine back to neutral. Tuck your toes under. Lift your knees, take your hips up into the air. And just begin to lift and lower the heels, checking in with the feet, as well as the ankles, the backs of the legs, all the way up into the torso, into the shoulders, the arms, and the hands. With your next in-breath, shift forward the plank pose. Draw the navel in towards the spine as you reach back through your feet and reach forward through the top of your head. Then as you exhale, lift your hips back up into the air, coming back into downward facing dog. All right, now releasing down to your knees, we'll step the right foot forward to the right hand. Lift the torso up, and then we'll take the left hand to the right knee. Then sweep your right hand forward and up and back and down. Rotating a few times here through the right shoulder. Spread the right fingers wide apart. Really feel your whole right arm all the way up into the shoulder. All right, the next time you take your right arm back, pause there in the twist. All right, turn your head to look back towards your right hand and then start to turn your right palm up and down a few times. Let the whole arm roll in and roll out, forward and back. All right, now sweep your right hand forward, take both hands down to the floor and step forward into a forward fold. As you come into your forward fold, just bend your knees a little bit here so that you can lay your torso on your thighs or close to it and let the weight shift. Side to side, left to right. Now walk your hands up the fronts of your legs. Rise up to stand. All right, take your feet just about hip distance apart. And as you inhale, squat back. So take your hips back, your hands forward as you come into chair pose. Then as you exhale, straighten your legs. Reach your arms back in space as far as you're able to. Again, inhale, squatting into chair. Exhale to stand, reach the arms back. And then one more, inhale. This time as we exhale, fold forward and step back to downward dog. All right, once again, from downward dog, inhale, come forward to plank pose. Shoulders over the wrist, belly draws in. Reach back through your feet, reach your head forward. 
Then as you exhale, lift your hips back to downward dog. Now releasing down to your knees, this time step your left foot forward to your left hand. Lift your torso up. This time take the right hand to the left knee and then sweep your left hand forward and up and back and down. And as you rotate through your left shoulder, keep spreading the left fingers wide apart, feeling your whole left arm and up into the shoulder. And then the next time you take your left arm back, pause in the twist. Turn your head to look back towards your left hand. And then start to turn the left palm up and down few times rolling the whole arm slightly backwards in space and forwards in space. All right, then from here, left hand sweeps forward. Both hands come down to the floor. Step forward again into your forward fold. Once again, bend your knees enough to lay your torso on your thighs so that you feel the support of your legs. Release the weight of the head, let it fall towards the earth. Shift the weight side to side, left to right. And then again, walk your hands up the fronts of your legs, rising up to stand. All right, so as you come up to stand this time, we'll step our feet pretty wide apart. Let the toes turn out to the sides. And then bend your knees and just start to squat down so that your knees are roughly over your ankles. Now, if that bothers your knees in any way, bend less or not at all. If it's comfortable for you to go even deeper, then do that. But find an appropriate amount of challenge for your body. All right, now we'll take our arms up, bend the elbows, and then move the elbows back in space so you get that Big feeling of opening across your chest once again. All right, now breathing out through your nose, you're gonna squeeze your abdominal muscles as you blow the air out your nose. If you think of a bug flying up your nose, it's that feeling of quickly shooing out the nose. And then you'll simply relax the abdominals as the breath comes in for the inhalation. And we'll do this for just about 45 seconds to a minute. All right, as you're ready, let's begin. And so as you completely let go of the control of your breath, allow your legs to straighten, your arms to release. Just take a few breaths, kind of marinating in this feeling that that particular breathing practice invites into our bodies. This sort of feeling of being shooken up like a paperweight, like a snow globe. And so let yourself kind of land back into your feet back into your physical body. All right, walk your feet closer and closer together. And then we'll step the right foot forward towards the short edge of the mat. And we'll step the left foot back, left toes turning out a little bit, but step pretty wide here. And then we'll bring our palms together in front of the heart. All right, as we inhale, we'll reach the arms out and back. So just reach your fingertips back 
and then turn your palm so that your fingers start to turn down toward the floor. Then as you exhale, bend your front knee and join your hands in front of your heart. Again, inhale, open the arms, straighten the front leg, reach back, turn your palms slightly down or fingers slightly down. And then exhale, bend your front knee, join your hands. One more time, inhale, open and straighten. And then exhale, bend and join the hands. Now keep your front knee bent, interlace the fingers, press the palms forward and up. All right, as you land evenly into both of your feet, Keep reaching up through the palms. Relax the face, the jaw, and feel the gentle and subtle movement of your rib cage as you breathe. All right, release the arms. Step forward and switch your feet. So left foot forward, right foot back. Again, step pretty wide. Take our palms together in front of the heart. As you inhale, reach your arms out and back. Let your fingertips turn down and slightly towards the floor. Exhale, bend your front knee, join your hands in front of your heart. And inhale, open and straighten, reaching back. Exhale, bend and join. One last time, inhale, open and straighten, reaching back. And exhale, bend and join. Now keep your front knee bent, interlace your fingers, press your palms forward and up. Landing here, let yourself take up space. Noticing all the sensations that are now present within your body. Notice the way that you're breathing. And if you're not breathing deeply enough, maybe breathe a little bit more deeply. All right, one more breath. All right, release your arms and step forward. All right, we'll take our palms together in front of the heart. Deep breath in as you squat back into chair pose. Exhale as you fold forward and step back to downward dog. Now inhale, release down to your knees. And then exhale, sit back into child's pose. So your hips go back to your feet. Your head releases toward the floor. If you do have a block nearby, you might wish to put your forehead on your block if it doesn't come all the way to the floor. And simply let yourself rest here. Now keep in mind that in your child's pose, you might have your legs close together or you might take them further apart. Sometimes it's a little easier to breathe deep with some more space between the legs. All right, two more breaths. All right, when you feel ready, transition back onto your back. And as you come back onto your back, take a moment to gently sway the knees side to side. All right, now we'll cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Take the legs into the chest, grab through for your left leg, squeezing the legs in, rock a bit side to side. Noticing how that changes, what you feel in your right hip. So move a little to the left, move a little to the right. All right, take your hands behind your left knee so that your left leg can straighten. And then reach through your heel and point through your left toes. Again, reach through the heel and point through your toes. 
All right, keep your uh, left leg up. Go ahead and straighten your right leg up as well. Interlace your fingers. Take your hands behind your head. And let your head and elbows rest on the floor. I will, in a moment, start to lift and lower the legs. If it's too much for your body to keep the legs together, if you wanna just do one leg at a time, you're welcome to do that. So we'll do four. So if you are doing one leg at a time, just do two with one leg and then two with the other leg. All right, so as we inhale, lower the legs to the point where you feel challenged. As we exhale, pull the legs back up. All right, three more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And last two. And last one. All right, uncross the legs, feet come to the floor. Sway the knees side to side. All right, release your hands. And this time you'll cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Take your legs into your chest. Grab your right leg. Rock a little side to side. You can notice how this rocking affects the sensation that you're creating in your left hip. All right, let your hands come behind your right knee, straightening the right leg up. Reach up through the heel. And point through your toes. Again, reach up through the heel. And point through your toes. All right, keep your right leg up. Go ahead and straighten the left leg up as well. Last four of these as we interlace the fingers. Hands behind the head. Head and elbows rest on the floor. Remember, you can do this with your legs together or legs separately, two and two. All right, as you next inhale, lower your legs to the point where you feel challenged. Then as you exhale, pull your legs back up. Again, inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift. Last two. And last one. All right, uncross the legs, feet come to the floor. And again, sway the knees gently side to side. Hmm. All right, as you gradually come back to stillness, release your hands out from underneath your head. And then just arrange your body for comfort. So if you are most comfortable laying on your back, that's fine to do. If you prefer laying on your side or your front, that's fine to do as well. We'll take just about three minutes or so to rest. So allow yourself to come into your most comfortable version of rest, where it feels like it doesn't require any effort to be exactly where you are. And as we come into rest, we'll begin to breathe in a particular way. So the next time that you breathe in, we'll breathe in to the count of three. And then hold your breath inside your body for three more counts. And then exhale to the count of six. Again, inhale to the count of three. Hold it in for three. Exhale to six. Now the speed with which you count is kind of up to you. Go at a pace that feels comfortable for you. It doesn't feel stressful or too short or too long. Just find that perfect place, that perfect speed 
of counting. Sometimes I like to kind of sense how fast my heart is beating and just go with that tempo. So we'll take just a few more rounds of breath in this way. Again, that's inhaling to three. Hold it in for three. And exhale for six. Now, if you have the time to stay with this rest a little bit longer, you're welcome to stay where you are. But if you're ready to go about the rest of your day, take your time rolling over onto one side. I'm just pausing there for a breath or two or 10, however many feel good. And then when you're ready, come on back up into your seat. And so as you come back into your seat, we'll join our palms in front of the heart. And as we bow to the light within ourselves, we also honor and bow to the light within each other. Namaste. Thank you for being present with me. Uh, have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.